Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I can't believe I was sad over a guy that couldn't even carry a conversation. <laughs> Didn't ask me a single thing about myself. Like, wouldn't ask questions back. And he wasn't even my type. <laughs> like, I was having to look past physical things about him and then when it ended and i looked back at all of the icks it's like what i'm embarrassed and the best way to get over that embarrassment is to make a video about it awesome he was this he was that he wasn't this he wasn't that and yet you slept with him obviously he was good enough at the time the two of you spent some time together he was good enough was he the one who left when it ended because only that will explain this video or maybe you're just trying to get his attention You all know what women I really look up to? The women that have boyfriends that I have no idea about. It's like, she's not constantly posting him. She's not constantly crying about him or talking about him. You mean the normal people that keeps their lives private? The normal people who don't live their entire lives online? Yeah, that's almost weird. Admiring people that are normal. She goes on saying that if she ever finds a boyfriend, she's not gonna post him. But somehow it's okay for you to post your entire life on TikTok. Yeah, that makes sense. So I went on a date with this guy, literally best date ever, and he has yet to text me. And the only plausible explanation is that he passed on his way home. <laughs> yes, absolutely. If I ever get ghosted, I will use the same excuse. Nah, they just passed away. It makes no difference that it was the best date for me and the, probably the most horrible for them, but that never matters. Let's start this by me reading the comments she's gonna respond to. Please do more videos of things you've learned about relationships through your wonderful work. Easy. If you were dating a guy for more than two and a half years and he doesn't propose, maybe there's talk of marriage, but he's not ready yet. That's the point when you 100% leave. Guys will know six months to a year right after they start dating you if they want to spend the rest of their life with you. Now let's say he does propose seven, eight, nine, ten years into the relationship. One of two things are definitely going to happen. Either the engagement is going to be a very long one or he will break up with you during your engagement or you'll get married and then probably get divorced within the first few years. Usually if a guy proposes six, seven, eight, nine, ten years into a relationship, it's usually because he sees his other friends getting married and just feels like, oh, I've been with this girl for so long that this is it. But then he panics. He has time to spare and you don't. So he just wasted six, seven, eight, nine, ten years of your life. I know you love him, but if you've been together for four or five, six years and the topic of marriage just hasn't come up, you are not the one for him. And he is most definitely not the one for you. First things first, talking about her amazing work, I'm gonna give her credit. She does an amazing work. She finds heirlooms, old heirlooms, and she returns them to the rightful owners. Absolutely amazing, but that gives you absolutely zero experience in terms of dating and relationships. And it shows in this video. But before we go into her advice, I'm gonna say this. If you're the type of person who goes to someone like her or anyone else on TikTok for that matter, asking for advice about relationships, you already failed your relationship. You're gonna do what listen to her do what she told you if you're two years in a relationship and he hasn't proposed yet you're gonna leave nothing else matter it doesn't matter how well he treats you it doesn't matter how he makes you fail it doesn't matter how he makes you happy it doesn't matter you found a good man who's gonna stay with you through everything who's gonna be by your side through everything you're gonna throw all that away and leave and then what be in a different relationship for two years and also leave yeah that's a great plan 10 years later after you've jumped from relationship to relationship you're gonna complain that you can't find a good man while all this time you had them in your life and you were willing to throw that away if that piece of paper and the wedding ring and the wedding day is the most important for you and not that relationship that you are in then you already failed that relationship and you should leave getting married should be for that marriage not for you to brag that you are now Mrs. whatever and last because I made this long enough if you are 10 years into that relationship and marriage never came up that's a conversation you should have with your partner and no one else. I already knew that the men would be popping off in the comments about this. Um, I was expecting it and you know them going, oh my god, equality, this is what you asked for. Not once did I mention equality or equal rights, so that doesn't even bother me. It's not even worth my time. But the thing that surprised me the most was people saying, oh my god, four dates and you don't know if you like this guy? 
like it's been two weeks. Am I meant to know if I like this guy? What happened to getting to know somebody before just diving on in? After two dates, you think that you want to be with them. You don't know them. Yes, but you don't know if you like them or not after the fourth date. No one ever said you should know them completely or know from the start that you want to marry them or not. IMG, all these men in the comments, you're responding to a comment left by a woman. She even has her picture. You saw her picture and you still went, IMG, like all these men in the comments. And yes, no one said anything about equality. Not you, not that lady that you responded to. You're the only one who brought it up now, complaining about men. Again, in response to a comment left by a woman. But hey, that's TikTok for you, I guess. So I'm supposed to leave my house to meet boys, but not at the gym because nobody wants to be interrupted. Not at the club because nobody wants to meet their significant other at the club. And not at the bar because I don't drink. So where? Where do I go? Deep into the woods. <laughs> I'm being petty, I know. No one said anything about that at the gym. <laughs> but then again, all those influencers kind of ruined that because they were trying to portray all the men in the gym as creeps. But you can wait until they finish their sets and say hello. Think about the type of men you would like and try to find some common interests, common hobbies. Unless it's fishing because then don't bother me when I'm at the lake. Go to church if you're religious. Go to a coffee shop and hope there are still men out there who will approach you. Continuing to answer your guys' questions, this one says, how do I make my boundaries and needs known without being called selfish? Great question. Let's get into it. I'm Gabrielle. I'm a trauma-informed practitioner, and I help women heal after they've been betrayed through nervous system regulation, somatic healing, and self-discovery. And a big part of healing betrayal is getting to know what you want, what you need, what you like, what you think, and also setting and upholding your boundaries. If people have not been used to you asserting your boundaries and needs, then they are most likely not going to like it and probably will call you selfish. Selfish. And if you've not been used to doing this as well, then you also might be feeling selfish inside. So here's what you do. You work on healing yourself, your self-worth, your limiting beliefs around why you feel selfish, setting boundaries and expressing your needs. And then the real healing is when you continue to set boundaries and express your needs, even if they call you selfish. Because it's not selfish, it's your basic rights. Yes, now that she said boundaries and needs eight times in a single video, make sure you give her money. She's an informed uh, coach, so she has no idea what she's talking about, but give her money anyway. What will ever give people the idea that you're selfish when you're only talking about my needs, my wants, my boundaries, my whatever? Me, 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 but I'm not selfish. And now you have a selfish informed coach who's validating that idea. Me, 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 you, 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 but make sure that you know you're not selfish. Even when you know you're being selfish, you're not because she said so. I recently was going on dates with a man and nice guy, good guy, treated me well. But once I realized that he was not my husband, because I'm only looking for husband energy at the moment, I ended things with him and I sent him a text because like it wasn't that serious, you know, I didn't feel like I needed to do it in person. Anyway, so I sent him a text, told him that I didn't see it going any further and he agreed. He said that he didn't think that he could make me happy. And while I appreciate that, it was a very kind response. He didn't even try. He didn't even try and say that he like wanted to change, that he wanted to like whatever. Like, I can be manipulated. I will listen to you. <laughs> but you didn't even try. Oh no, he didn't even try. Well, even though you could maybe be manipulated, he won't. He is not. He won't be. He doesn't want to be. What we've just seen is the power of the word no when it comes from a man. You're looking for a husband, he may be, be looking for a wife and you want it. But I think I'm gonna let this guy explain it way better than I ever could. I can be manipulated. I will listen to you. Okay, so no means no except when no means yes, which is never. So if she says no, you have to stop, and if you stop, then you should have manipulated her, which means that no means yes, which is never. Why is there talking stages? <laughs> Why can't you just admit that you like the person and then just be with them? Aren't we dating for marriage? I'm so confused. 
Me neither. We're not dating for marriage, we're dating for hookups. You need to have your needs met and we're giving you exactly that. Isn't that what everyone is saying on TikTok? You're confused. No, I'm confused. I thought the talking stage is when you meet someone, you start talking and then you go on a date. And then you're dating. It's no longer a talking stage. And then, as we've seen earlier, it takes you more than four dates to see if you like me or not. And we're no longer dating, we're in a situationship. And then, oh no, what do I do now? Because we're sleeping together and we don't even talk all that much. It's 2023 princess, you're gonna go back to the 50s? Ah, can't do that, your sisterhood fought really hard to get to this point. The most asked question I get is, how are you so beautiful? And that is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.